Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here bringing you guys a Javelin tutorial for the map of High Rise, Modern Warfare 2, and if you guys are new to the channel, check the playlist in the description, and you guys can uh, see all of the other maps that I've posted with the uh, the Javelin tutorial spots. Let's go ahead and get started. spawning in from this side, you can go ahead and shoot the Javelin up on the brick wall over there, and it usually can touch down as they're coming out of that building. You can usually get one kill or so, two kills maybe. It's not a quad location, but there's definitely some on this map. Um, the other spawn is actually probably better than the seaside spawn. You can catch them as you guys see. Uh, the, there's barrels on the other side of this area. You can let it rain right there. But this is a tough map because you get tubed a lot on this map. Um, then there is... So anytime you... Again, you, you can see down the hallway of anything. You can shoot a javelin up. As long as you can get it off before they, they uh, get in place and there's a bunch of snipers or something like that, uh, it can end up working out well. Um, this is actually a good spot when you're from the A side coming towards C, you can shoot it down there, and usually when they're rushing out of that building, uh, you can end up getting some. I've get, definitely gotten some quads there. This is actually another spot. Same spot, it touches down, you go through the window and it touches down right in front uh, of where they are. Then you can use this down here on this side over there, and you can uh, end up getting them as they're coming out the window to the right. And then you can touch down from over on this side as well. Um, the other location was probably better because uh, you don't get seen and like anytime you can use a javelin to a location where they can't actually snipe you, uh, it's it's a good move. Now, I think this next one is probably the most epic one that you can have. And this is getting, yeah, right here. You can get actually inside the sea flag. Um, and this is probably the best uh, javelin spot, uh, one of the better ones in the game. You can lock onto the bookshelf right here, that gray uh, bookshelf, and let it fly. And it actually touches down inside of the building. And I've gotten quads all day long um, using this spot. Uh, I definitely recommend you guys give it a try if you haven't. Downside is if they're sniping, they will, especially thermal sniping, they will get you. But check this out. When you shoot it up, you can see it touches down. And it's a pretty big explosion on C. Definitely, again, gotten some quads. And that's one of the best quad spots on this map. Um, there are some other spots. I Unfortunately, I don't even think I got a clip of me getting a quad on that one. But I've gotten plenty of them. If you guys actually watch my TNT uh, series, my nuke videos, uh, every Tuesday I, like, I post attack nuke and whatnot. But... Uh, this is a good spot if you need to get them on top of that um, bunker. Sometimes they camp up there and a real pain in the ass to kill. Uh, you can actually kill them up here. And uh, I was just trying to lock onto that thing. and That way you can touch down and kill them from behind it. As you guys know, they always camp back there. Um, there's also a... And I was just messing around here. If they're actually on top of the building um, back here, you can lock on to these barrels um, and actually kill the guys on top of the roof and it will destroy their attack inserts I, I love doing that I love foiling it for those people that get up on top of the roof because they're such a pain in the ass and they tack insert up there and they boost it's not boosting but if they get up there you know it's real easy and look at that explosion it totally kills them takes out their attack insert it's a great way to clear out those dudes and that's part of the reason why I like using the uh, the uh, javelin and it's not necessarily for snipers but I mean I can kill the noob tubers as well, which is awesome. Now, when you're spawning from the A side, this is pretty epic. Usually, this works out pretty well. I get a, a single double. Um, usually, I don't get triples from the beginning, but you can cap A at the same time as lock onto that bookshelf and shoot it up and kill those campers from the beginning of the game for those people that are like just trying to camp just uh, just out out the gate. So, great spot to use to start. Just be careful of the snipers. This is actually kind of cool. I didn't realize I could do this until after I started in these javelin videos but you can actually shoot up inside of the building right there uh, you just again have to be careful because they will uh, come get you and then I'm gonna go ahead and kill myself so I can go ahead and uh, show you guys what it looks like from that location again uh, but actually over to the to the right hand side so you can shoot the javelins in the buildings if if for some way you're incognito and they don't see you you can totally get some awesome kills from it um, this uh, you can see right here like sometimes they have you pinned in you can shoot it up right there and kill them in that little area. Also, you can obviously lock onto the top uh, for when they're uh, killing you on top of the pad. Now, sometimes if they have you spawn trapped on this map especially, uh, like if you po pop your head out, you're not going to be able to just stand there and shoot off a javelin. So it's kind of like one of those balance situations. It doesn't always work. It, you, sometimes it's really a pain in the backside because uh, they really got you pinned, but sometimes it does work, and then um, you surprise them with a javelin. Now, this is a spot to get inside that building. Unfortunately, I didn't move away far enough, and I ended up killing myself. Um, I always want to get, like, a group of, like, eight snipers back there and just kill them all with that. 
uh, at, you know how, how they spawn um, and they shoot diagonally and kill each other it's kind of an interesting one I got a couple javelin spots I'll show you guys at the end of this um, video uh, in action and then hopefully uh, you guys will uh, like to see some of those but if you guys again want to see the other javelin spots check the uh, playlist anyways this is the last javelin spot to use you can get, get them when they're camping in the back uh, to the left hand corner uh, right there, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of these javelin spots in action. Not a ton of them this time, unfortunately, but uh, some of them. I definitely recommend the C flag one the best. That's definitely the awesomest one. Uh, this is when they are coming kind of little from that other side over there. You can just shoot it up, and this was just a random one. It wasn't like a crazy javelin spot. Uh, just I knew that they were spawning over on that side somewhere, so I just touched down over there, and then I ended up getting a kill. This is actually a pretty awesome one to be able to shoot inside this building. Uh, right up close and you can see I just shot it up and killed them as they're in the building which is pretty fun um, and then I ended up dying right there unfortunately uh, then there is a Jalen spot I think this is the one I ended up killing the guy on top of the roof which I was super stoked about because he kept killing me the entire time so I was excited um, I just locked onto the building right there and it actually touched down on top and you can see uh, even though I ended up dying I killed him right uh, there and so I was happy Got the guy off the top of the building. Anyway, hopefully you guys like these javelin spots. Use the C-Flag one the, the most, though, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.